love is something beyond the warmth and the glow, excitement, or romance, or the thought of even being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and the happiness of your marriage partner as you would your very own. Real love is not being totally absorbed in one another. It's actually looking outward in the same direction together. Love, it makes burdens lighter because as a married couple, you now divide them. It makes joys much more intense because you get to share them. It also makes you stronger so that you reach out and become involved in life in ways that each of you would dare not risk all by yourselves. talk to me and they said, oh, are you going to be sad? You're losing your daughter. You know, the two of you are close. What's going to happen? No. Everybody thought I was nervous. No, I wasn't nervous. Why? Because I got to know Shamar. I think he's a good godsend for my daughter. I know my daughter is in good hands, so I don't have to worry about anything. Shamar will take care of my daughter. That's why I'm not nervous. I know he's going to be a good guy for my daughter. relationship blossom I've, I've just watched in awe to see these two move forward together um, no longer going towards each other but now they're going in the same direction um, committed to making our community better to commit, committed to to God and their religion um, committed to each other um, it's just been beautiful to watch I promise to continuously push us closer to Christ and be the spiritual leader of our household, Nicole. I promise to be intentional about the way I love you. I promise to love you better than I love myself, to strive for excellence as a husband, to protect you against anyone or anything, and always empower you. I promise to prioritize your requests and never disregard the things you say. I promise to work hard to keep this marriage dynamic, fresh, and bold. My actions will always align with the vision of our marriage. I promise to look at us and see God and love you radically and relentlessly. Shamar, I have never loved someone the way that I love you. I am overwhelmed by God's faithfulness. Whenever I think of this gift of sharing time and space with you, it was God who brought us together, and only He can keep us together. 
So above all else, I vow to always press into Christ because I know it's the only in Him that I can be the best wife for you. I vow to love you through my actions and my words, to continuously affirm you and lift you up, to pray for you without ceasing, and to love you without condition. Shamar and Nicole have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this loving assembly of family and friends and have committed themselves completely to each other in the covenant of marriage. I do pronounce that they are now husband and wife and what God has put together, let no one put asunder. Shamar, you may kiss your bride. Nicole, you've always been the most motivational force amongst your group of friends, always encouraging, supporting them to be the very best version of themselves. The most selfless individual that I know, you won't stop until your entire tribe has reached greatness. I told you this before, but I haven't told you enough. I truly admire and look up to you. And I'm really lucky to call you my best friend. Never had I ever seen Nicole light up as much as she had that first day when she spoke of you, Shamar. I specifically remember telling her in that moment that you were the one. I love how you treat Nicole and how the two of you share such a special love that's so true to you. The best part is through y'all's relationship, we've all been able to gain a friend from you. So here's a toast to you both. May the two of you, you are immensely, immensely loved. And I wish you guys both a lifetime of happiness and love. Cheers.